you can modify the background color of your web page. So to set the background color in HTML, you need to use the style attribute inside the body tag. Inside the body tag, we will type style equals quotation mark background minus sign color and colon. Okay. So after colon, you will type what color you want to use. So for example, I will use color green. And then semicolon close quotation mark. Okay. Once I press save or control S to check the output, I will go to the folder where I saved the activity. Double click the background. And then as you can see, the background color of my web page is green. You can use other colors. So for example, we will use gray. Right click, reload. The background color is gray. You can also use color codes that we get from the rapid tables. So for example, I want to use lime as the background color of my web page. I will just type hashtag. And the code of the line color 00 ff 00 control s to save your work go to your output right click and reload so as you can see you can use a color codes or you can just simply type the name of the color that's all for today keep safe and god bless you HTML contains several elements for defining text with a special meaning. Formatting elements were designed to display special types of text. The HTML B element defines bold text. B. This text is bold. Ctrl S to save your code and to check your output. Go to your web page, right click, and reload. The HTML I element defines a part of text in an alternate voice or mood. The content inside is typically displayed in italic. Example, Example, I, this text is italic. Control S to save. Right click, check your output. This text is italic. Element U is used to add a line under a text. So, for example, U underline, then close Q. Right click, reload. The HTML SUB element defines subscript text, while the SUB element defines superscript text. Example, paragraph. This is SUB subscripted text, while this is SUP super scripted text. Control S to save your code, then go to your browser, right click reload to check the output. This is subscripted text, while this is super scripted text. That's all for today. Goodbye and thank you. To set text alignment in HTML, use the style attribute. The attribute is used with the HTML P tag or paragraph tag with the CSS property text align for the center, left, and right alignment. Example P. Inside the P tag, we will type a style equals text. Align, colon, center, close quotation mark, center text, 
Ctrl S to save. Right click, reload. The output is located at the center of the web page. You can also try left alignment and right alignment, but always remember that the default alignment of HTML is the left alignment. This time, we will try the right alignment. Right. Right. Text. Control S to save. Right click reload to check your output. As you can see, the output or the text is located at the right side of the web page. That's all for today. Goodbye and God bless you. Keep safe everyone.